Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm a digital media expert. And today I'm going to show you guys how to edit the iTunes library XML file. Now one of the reasons why you do that is just in case you want to transfer over all of your, pretty much your entire library inside of iTunes as well as the playlists from one computer to another computer. That way you don't have to create all new playlists again um, and you can keep the same playlist. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So I have iTunes already fired up here. What we can do is go up to File, and we can go down to Library, and then Export um, export the library. Not the playlist, but the entire library, because it will capture your playlist as well. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see here, it already has the .xml file. So we can do Library um, number one. And if you want to leave it as library, that's fine too. I'm just going to throw this on my desktop here and save it. All right, so basically you want to take that file on your new computer or the other computer and import the XML file. That way everything loads up. Okay, and then we can go up to File, and then we can go to Library and Import Playlists, or we can go to Add to Library. I'm just going to show... Uh, import playlist because that is the main focus and let's go ahead and locate that file on, on my desktop here it is and hit open and just like that it's going to import the library XML file so that's basically it guys there's not much to it all you have to do is save the playlist and then import it back in so if you do have any other questions please let us know and thank you for watching.